destruction, or sometimes known as destruction, is just basically pulling a joint, pulling one bone away from another. So almost the opposite of articulation. And that's what we're going to do here. And this particular type of traction that we're going to use is going to mobilize everywhere down from the SIJ uh, for more acetabular joints, so the hip and ball and socket of the hip, knee and ankle as well, depending on where you do it from. So what we're going to do is stand with a good firm base, get yourself in a good strong position, and then we're just going to rock and mobilize back and forth, back and forth. Try and keep that hip out of the flexion, get in a place that's comfortable for you. And you can alternate the pulse that you do it with. We call these oscillations. And you can go a bit quicker and a bit lighter. So that's the standard traction. There are different twists on this as well. So one thing that we can do is a little bit of a push in the opposite direction, followed by traction, which I tend to do, which kind of gets them out of the whole guarding thing, because they're not used to what's going on here, he's pulling on my leg. And then finally, if they're body away, I'm quite selective with who I use this with, where we can uh, use an MET as well. So all we can do is get the client to hitch their hip. So Annie, what I like to do is hitch your hip, because you know what I'm talking about, try and do it from your left QL. And if they're struggling, you can give them something to pull against, but that was perfect. Hold that for eight to 10 seconds. Deep breath in, breathe out and relax. Good, and I'm just gonna let my body weight drop back. And I'm pulling, trying to use the lat, stay in a nice strong position. Go for about 10 seconds worth, and then we can repeat the MET. That's fine, just relax. An alternative version, if you've got someone with really big legs and it's not quite doing it for you, we can get up into this position, which is that knee assessment, medial collateral ligament type of position, and we can use that to traction. You can get yourself in a strong position, clamp down on the leg between the arm and the body, and then pull it back. Which one feels better? I think. The one with the MT felt the best. Good, because that was the easiest. Yeah. Okay, so we can go back to that again. And if they ever start to tense up, because you're holding the limb, you're not really supporting the knee either, which is not great, which is why we don't want to bring it too far. A bit of limb rocking usually gives them the idea that you want them to relax and they calm down a bit, things ease off. Okay, hitch the hip. Eight, nine, ten, deep breath in. Breathe out, relax. Good. Give it a second. And we're going to go for that traction. 